You may have heard about the case of Naveem Polapati. He's the Toronto restaurateur that has been victimized by thieves breaking into his restaurant, his car, several times. But the last time a thief came along to victimize Mr. Polapati, he fought back. Using a broomstick and some spices, he confronted the thief and called the police. But get a load of this. Police officers here at 14 Division, not only did they let the thief go, they charged Mr. Polapati with assault and using a nauseous substance. Mr. Polapati, you see, has been nicknamed the Spice Man because it was his use of spice that thwarted the bandit in the first place. So, as a primer, let's just see how effective spice deterrence is. What I suggest first is to, you know, fend off the thief with uh, something uh, light, like garlic, you know. Mm. There, now see, just do a little like that, you know, sort of in the mouth area. Rosemary's a fantastic spice. Mm. Oh, Bob's your uncle. And see, there you go. This is mustard seed. This is where the mustard you get at the ballpark comes from. And there you go, look at that. Fantastic. And, oh, pepper. See, you put a little pepper on. There you go. We gotta go to the nuke. We gotta go to the cayenne pepper, brother. So, thief, get away from me. Stop victimizing me. The police aren't on their way because they don't believe in upholding the law against honest citizens. Ha! 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 We're uh, teaching uh, citizens how to defend themselves with spice because uh, Mr. Polapati uh, was, uh, I think, charged for defending his property. So we thought we'd, uh, you know, do a little demonstration. What do you think about that? What I think right now, gentlemen, is, is that uh, this is not appropriate. Why is that? Look at it. It's not appropriate. And you need to not bring that so close to my face. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Uh, so why is it not appropriate? Then? Because first, it's obstructing the sidewalk. All right? Oh, really? So I'm going to ask you to move that, please, from the sidewalk. And um, well, what about parsley? Is parsley appropriate for know, a thief? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to get into this with you. I'm not going to do that. How about mustard? Is I'm mustard not gonna get. I'm not gonna get into that with you. Okay. Okay. You know oh. what? That's why we have the court. What, system. what about garlic? That's Is why garlic? We have the court system, and let's let the uh, charges play out in the court and see what the court system has to say. What I am asking you to do what, now. Rosemary. Is, is I'm what about ask rosemary? You, sir, rosemary? Is to, uh, oh, is right to take. To take I this. got some other ones. Hold on a second. You know what? Piri, piri, you're not piri. even trying to. You're not even trying what to. Piri, piri? You're not even listening. You're no, not I'm, even listening. No, sir, no, but, you're not. You're not listening. No, but you never and mentioned you're piri, not, piri. Um, I, I told is you piri, already. Piri I told you I wasn't going to discuss that. Oh. I was very clear on that. Well, okay. I said what about? That I would let that would go through the court system. What about cinnamon? As it should probably go. And you're having a hard time understanding me, sir. Okay. If, is, there, is, 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 is this is Bacon yours? bits. If, is this yours? Uh, I, it's actually not mine, but I very borrowed good. it. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. All right, sir. I'm going to take that up abandoned property. Oh, Oops, my. that's too bad. Oh, All right, can you please keep that? Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> okay. Is, is she under arrest? or what, what about cayenne pepper, officer? Would red pepper be appropriate? Oh. What, what, watch her buttocks. Well, uh, here I am picking up the pieces. Too bad she left so quickly because uh, I'd like to give her the finger. <laughs> You know, that police officer tells you a lot about the state of policing in Toronto. You know, folks, you think of the things to say after the fact, and she was saying, well, look at it, at the mannequin. It's inappropriate. And I wasn't sure what she meant. And then I realized the mannequin didn't have a top on. But what this officer doesn't seem to understand is going back to the 1995 Gwen Jacob decision at the Supreme Court, uh, she, females are allowed to go topless. That could have been a real woman without a top. She doesn't even know the law. Unbelievable. Again, your tax dollars at work. And that was today's Mission Menzoid, folks. And every day I'm going to be taking you on a different mission in my journey of being, well, me, the Menzoid.